All right, at a quarter before seven on this Friday morning, it is certainly cooler to start things off. Yesterday at this time, we were still holding at 54th the airport, officially in town 36 right now. Fortunately, the winds are pretty light southeast right now at only six, so that is some good news. But noticeably cooler everywhere across the viewing area. Uh, Eastern and central Nebraska generally mid 30s right now. Lincoln 35, Columbus at 34. In the western Iowa, we average out a little bit cooler. Atlantic and Red Oak both at 32. And down on the campus of Northwest Missouri State, Maryville right now checking in at 37. And that is 20 degrees colder than what you started out yesterday. Clorinda also the same thing. 24 hour temperature change from Omaha to Lincoln down 18 from just this time on Thursday morning. And we still have some clouds. We were actually clear when I came in just after 3 o'clock this morning. Uh, you can see some fair weather clouds over the bluffs, kind of those busy intersections, uh, seeing kind of the opaque overcast there. But we're dry. In fact, that's the case all across the area with a tremendous increase in cloud cover in the last hour. It's mainly the fair weather stuff, so we don't really have to worry about that. Uh, we will contend with it today, and it should obscure sunshine just a little bit. You can see temps generally starting off in the mid to upper 30s. I actually think warm up pretty quick, probably in the upper 40s to low 50s by lunchtime, and we should keep on going up into the upper 50s this afternoon. And again, at times we'll see the clouds sent out, so we'll call it partly sunny. And with that 58, threat track remains in the green. We'll be dry today, and we'll see winds still pretty light out of the south, southeast at about 10. So that's good news for our Friday night. Uh, if you're going to be out and about, I know a lot of us will this weekend. we got holiday parties. Uh, it's the weekend, and it looks like we'll be dry tonight at 36. Then the changes start to take hold tomorrow. Still not terribly cool. I think we'll drop to about 50. Uh, it does look like we'll see light rain and drizzle develop there. And then some rain, certainly a possibility Sunday. Uh, last hour, I showed you the European computer model. It is very bullish with the rain amounts about two to two and a half inches here. Most of our other models between a half inch and an inch. And uh, this is the North American computer model, just to contrast that. Uh, all these with fancy names showing a big discrepancy. We've seen this all week long. So again, that one going about two thirds of an inch. I actually think we should come in close to an inch, maybe a little better than that, uh, if we get some thunder and lightning, which is a possibility tomorrow night into Sunday. So be ready for that. Wacky weather continues. Then it starts to feel like December a little more. We'll cool from the 40s into the 30s. Maybe a rain or snow shower again late Tuesday on into Wednesday. So uh, again, a very changeable forecast even at this point through the second half of the weekend. Also, if we were going to see some wet snowflakes with this storm, that would happen probably late Sunday into Monday, and that's even a little iffy right now. So mainly rain, but a lot of it for the weekend. Fortunately, we're dry this morning. Here's Cammie with another update on our Friday morning.